There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I had mentioned this before, but one of the downsides of the way that this game is structured, where new quests get introduced in the middle of other quest lines, it kind of makes it difficult to start something and follow it through before moving on to something else. For example, we have this. We picked up a new quest to go find Philippa Eilhart, but we're in the middle of this quest to find Dudu, so I kind of have to finish this one first. But, you know, I'll get to that eventually. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan. But we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. Known Dudu long? I know this might sound strange, but... I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assumed Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Do you do not much of a singer? No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Dudu and the mummers. How'd they meet? That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as a notter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. That he started performing with you? Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you. And that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know, Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit, and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide, 
and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavetta. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. I think comedy's the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. I wonder if it comes down to the confusion over having to, say, create quests out of order. It can be difficult to keep track as far as direction goes of what performance a person should be given at certain points of the game especially considering that given the open world nature of this game sometimes things are done out of order but it seems strange to me that priscilla is there acting all cheery and stuff about writing this play given that dandelion is locked up in a horrific prison I mean, the two of them are supposed to be together. She doesn't really come across, at this point anyway, like she's all of that um, concerned about him. Now, she did show a little bit of concern back when she was first met, but she seems to have forgotten about that. And it's not really the case because that this can be done out of order because you definitely encounter her and... She shows Dandelion uh, some concern over Dandelion before. Then this quest occurs later. 
and Dandelion will not be rescued until after this quest. So it's not really the case that you're playing this out of order. It's just that she has an inconsistent performance. And the entire game is sort of structured in a way that things can be done out of order. It kind of makes me wonder if there was just a little bit of confusion with the director. Like, hold on, actress playing Priscilla. You're supposed to be a little bit concerned here. Maybe you should hack it. <laughs> but the game is so huge. So many performances that they had to record and capture and all that kind of stuff. I can, I can understand it. I mean, if this were a much more linear game like The Last of Us or something like that, I would have had a better... Uh, I would have reacted worse to it. I wouldn't have as much understanding as I do here. But this is an open world game. Look at this. Look at this river. Just kind of tapers downward. <laughs> I was lost here. If you can't tell. But yeah, if this were a, a much more linear game with a much more linear story, I would have less understanding of faults like this. But given what this game is, given that it was in Polish, not English. It was originally developed in. And they may not have quite the understanding of English or an English performance. I can, I can understand it. This where Madame Marina's troop performs? Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mummers in rehearsal. Almost. Holy moly, Almost. you're a scary one. Well, what was wrong that time? Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelion's told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though, I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. Have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers, would you mind tending to these matters? Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right. Know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? 
They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. Let's see if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. Of course, there's a bunch of different things that we have to do to get this play off the ground. We gotta go talk to these puffins. We gotta get them to go and spread the word, even though they're not actually gonna be a part of the show. And of course, once we get there, they're gonna want to do something, want us to do something for them. And oh my god, so many little side quests. And makes me wonder how anything in this world ever gets done without Geralt of Rivia showing up and making things better for everyone. My god, this is an intricately designed city. This is honestly probably the best interpretation of what a city in a kind of uh, medieval kind of setting would look like. Of course, I've never, I don't hop in my DeLorean and go back in time, so I can't see what it looked like back then. But this, this looks really good. I mean, I'm not going to say that it's especially realistic. It probably isn't. But it's surprisingly large. Lots of alleyways and roads and detail and all that kind of stuff. I mean, they did a hell of a job here. I mean, look at this. It's crazy. But I'm wandering off topic. Here we are. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer instinct versus primal rage. You guys really from Nilfgaard? We's from plowing Metina, damn it! Oh, Nilfgaard. Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdera. Brothers forged in bloodshed. Veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas. Who dares face the wild men of the south? Who will look the beasts in the eye? I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. <laughs> Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong man. Ass kicking's what we do. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. See, Hal's no fan of money. Failed romance. Stay the details. So you'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on. Same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of metal. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. <laughs> Double the wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Hell! Finish him! Got something special like that! I can't say I much care for the unarmed combat in this game. A lot of people don't really even like any of the combat in this game. The sort of block, dodge, attack kind of thing. And then you got the spells that you can throw in there. But, you know, that doesn't really change a whole hell of a lot. I've known people who were big fans of this game, absolutely love the game, but never really even grasped the concept of when you should dodge and when you should parry. And I, I think it pretty much is you block or you parry when fighting a human, you dodge when fighting something that's not human. So 
So that's, uh, oh look, two on one. I didn't realize that. <laughs> but yeah, I know, I know a guy who absolutely loved this game. But even after he had beaten the game, it was like a year after it released, he even asked me, he's like, oh yeah, I never, I never really got that. When am I supposed to block? When am I supposed to dodge? <laughs> but I mean, even I can't. I, I, I'd have to say I don't care much at all for the unarmed combat in this game. Ain't often you get such a lovely trash in, I am. Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug, but the likes. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free, eh, Al? Your coin? Have it, man. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. That's another thing I don't quite get. I mean, they they said they'll do it for free. I guess because they don't want the player to have to pay anything for this. Because you're never going to know how much money the player is going to have at any point. I mean, you could spend all of your money upgrading your weapons. You could simply never have gathered any coin. So they got to put this little line in there saying, Oh yeah, we'll do it for free. But it doesn't make any sense. Why the hell are they doing it for free? And a better way of skirting around that issue would be that the people putting on the show are simply going to pay for it. Pay for the protection, that is. I think it, they could have cut that line out about doing it for free, and it would have made a lot more sense to me. But here I am just complaining about every damn thing in the world. So we gotta do the puffins thing. We gotta get their, get their support to spread the word around. Cause you know you can't, I guess you can't just do it yourself or put flyers out or anything like that. <laughs> gotta go get a bunch of these people. Nice tune. Damn sad though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Another thug? <laughs> Flattered. Thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening. And we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course! But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. Of course, these bunch of dumbasses are just sort of lurking outside of the house here. So... Well, run around the corner, and here we are. So you're the ones. Oi, Fatso, look what we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. 
Now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire? Catch it. Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted Iraq Emilfart? Called him an allmonger? I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought. <laughs> Leave the puffins alone. Aye, we will. Alone. What the hell? Black magic! He's a fucking witch! Get him! And fucking these guys up. It's real easy. <laughs> Just have to almost kill one of them. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much! Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something all right. And don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper! Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. What do you know? I'm not going to charge us. Where have I seen that before? We have for you an exquisite comedy. It's title The Doppler's Salvation. The players... Witcher Geralt as himself. 